Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from Mall Electric, back again with another video. And I tried everything to get the update on my white Model 3, and I did nothing on my red Model 3, and that just got the update. So let's see what's new in 2020.12.5. A big thank you goes out to Agrama Tool and Nicola Pro supporting this channel at the All Electric tier. Click the link in the description and support All Electric for as little as a dollar a month. So yes, of course, as I'm trying to get footage of what I've been doing, tapping the advance button and switching back and forth, along with a hard reset holding the two scroll wheels, now the updates gets pushed to my white Model 3. So let's give a second for the white car to finish updating. Now that the red car is complete, we'll jump right in there. So this is a 2020 Model 3 with the hardware 3.0, and this white one over here is a 2018 retrofitted with hardware 3.0. So both have the same hardware for the autopilot computer, but one is two years newer. So let's see what's new in this update. Okay, jumping right into the release notes, we see dash cam viewer. Now this has been something I've been waiting for for a long time, where you can view the dash cam footage right from your car as soon as you get an alert. The other thing is the car is going to show you if there is an out of order supercharger stall. An out of order supercharger or supercharger stalls will show you right on the navigation screen. I also noticed with this update, my car downloading new navigation data could be related to the supercharger stalls. So that's it for the release notes, but let's jump right into this dash cam viewer. I'm really excited to see this. So if you click on the little icon there, your dash cam, now you have save footage or launch viewer, which will actually show you clips that have previously been recorded on your dash cam, which is really great. So they're split up into two separate folders, Sentry and dash cam, just like they were if you unplug your USB and then go to your computer. But now you can do this all from your car. So this is really great. And I love the user interface that they have where you can actually click around while the clip is playing to view footage from any camera. One thing I was missing is if you could pinch to zoom, that would be awesome. Like I'm trying to zoom in here on this person. Well, say goodbye to Hal. We now have a new image for our sentry mode when it is activated. But now let's jump over to my white Model 3 and we are going to tap the screen here as a little trick to skip that two minute time and we're gonna start downloading the 2020.12.5 in the white Model 3. So if we go back over here, now we're gonna see that sentry mode was activated and now it says tap to view, something we've been waiting for for a long time where you can just tap and view the sentry mode clips and here you can buffer along the bottom to skip ahead and see who or what activated the sentry mode. I think Tesla did a great job with this user interface allowing me to click to the different cameras to follow somebody. Let's say this was a real person. Obviously this is just me activating the cameras around my car, but Tesla did a great job allowing you to be able to follow somebody, follow them and watch the footage and you can go front to rear, left to right and just follow them to see whatever they're doing around your vehicle. Really great job to the Tesla software team. I also really like the folder where the clips go where you can scroll through all the clips and go to a sp specific day. Really terrific job. One thing that I wanted to see in this update though was stoplight and stop sign detection or stopping in autopilot. That's where a car is gonna stop at a stoplight or a stop sign when it's in autopilot automatically. Now there's no settings added to autopilot as of yet Although I do recall this tweet from Third Road Tesla Podcast saying that it would be coming soon, but it's not here yet. So definitely something I'm really excited to see and test. I know it is in the beta test program right now, so I'm gonna try and get my hands on that. But wait, there is more. Something else that is new is improvements with the text messaging. So now it will actually show this emojis is. on the screen, which is really nice. And another thing, if you get somebody Listen texting you a link, you can now simply swipe it down and swipe it away. Of course, with every new update, we typically get improvements in autopilot. And so I will be testing 2020.12.5 in a future video. 
So definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you wanna be notified when that video becomes available. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend and don't forget push, to push, hit push, that push, subscribe push button. button. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one.